Hey everyone, I uh, wanted to do a quick video on how to change out your stock pump to the Hydros Plus, either high capacity pump or extreme capacity pump. Now for the high capacity and extreme capacity, the sizes of those are within a millimeter or so. Uh, so this applies to both of those. Both of those pumps are about 20 to 25 millimeters bigger than, than the stock pump. So um, there, there are some changes to be made to the PTO shield, but I want to keep this video focused solely on changing the pump. I do have an installation video uh, for the Hydros Plus kit that, has, that tackles everything except the pump. So as a part of this, I am going to time it to give you a real world example, but what I'm not going to include, so this is the stock feed tube. So obviously I'll, I'll include removing the stock feed tube, uh, but I'm not going to, to include uh, plumbing this over to the new flow divider. Um, I'm not gonna include taking this tube out. That's all covered uh, in, the, in the video for the installation and a part of that timing. So what I really wanna get here is a real world time of how long will it take to take this pump loose, uh, put the new pump on, and then I'm going to stop it. And again, the plumbing part that goes to the new flow divider, taking this out, that's all in the other video. Uh, those are, I think, total, and that included taking off and putting on the three-point hitch and PTO shield and all of that was something like 70, 72 minutes. So um, let me get started here. Now, the, you just need a few tools for this. Uh, the only tool that I didn't mention in my required tools for the install that I probably should have is you're going to need a pair of pliers um, to remove this uh, this hose clamp. And in some of the early kits, and I'm still doing this today, I actually provided a worm gear clamp. I don't have one closed actually here. I provide this worm gear clamp, and the reason I do that is is as part of this pump being just a little bit larger, this pulls out just a little bit more. And early on, I was a little bit concerned that we might have some aeration, but I actually don't have that concern anymore, but I'm still putting this in as something if you want to put this clamp on so you can really clamp it down. I mean, this has some force on it, but ooh, uh, a warm gear clamp, you can actually um, get a sense of the actual force that, you, that you're putting on it. So um, these are six millimeter, just as everything else that we've dealt with, and this is a 15 16th, same as the half inch tubes um, for the kit. So let me turn this on and get started. Get our timer started and we'll see how long this takes us. I'm not sure exactly how long it's going to take. So the first thing to do is take your 15, 16 inch and break this loose. Nope. My first complication. This is a 7 eighths. This is 1566, so you may need to do that. I haven't had to do that very often, but the reason you want to break this loose is once the pump is loose, it's a little bit harder to break that loose. So you can go ahead and take it all the way off if you want. Definitely make sure you break it loose. Second thing is take this clamp, move it back, and try to keep the, the clamp part of it pointed upwards. If you point it to this here, it's going to impede your ability to kind of get it off of the tractor. Kind of leave those as high or to the front of the tractor as you can. Move up to the front just a bit. All right, so let's take our six millimeter. Start loosening up these bolts. And as I said before, if you watched other videos, you know, I've taken mine off and off and off and on a number of times. So I've kind of loosened up these, but they can have debris or paint in them. So make sure you're seated good as you take this off. We got these four bolts uh, almost out. We got these out. Now the new pump's going to come with longer bolts for here since it's deeper. These bottom bolts still go on a, they just go on a flange. It's the same on both pumps. So one other thing, I've, 
You see that I have the seat off because I actually have to do a video after this to show uh, how to get this tube through here. Uh, as a part of the 1023 install, that wasn't as complicated. So I gotta show that. So that's why my seat's off. Um, and I did loosen up the other end of this tube so I can get it out of the way without removing it as we put on this new pump. So the last thing I'll tell you is I've had this A pump on and off of this tractor probably a hundred times, if not more than that. My gasket just gave up the ghost yesterday. And so uh, your gasket will be just fine. Literally mine's through a hundred uses. Uh, so that'll be a little bit different. If you were to tear your gasket, have some issue like that, you could use Gasket Maker. You can get a, a gasket from John Deere, but uh, I've done this on a couple of tractors, this tractor literally a hundred times, and the gasket is totally fine. So in order to get this off, pull straight out. There's a coupler in here, in here that I'll show you. But pull straight out until you, you feel the get come loose. Now it's really loose. And then you can kind of tilt it to the side and then work it off this tube here. So there's the coupler. And you'll see my gasket is now gone. I'm not gonna replace that because I don't believe you'll have to replace it. If you do, uh, I believe you will have the skill set necessary. You won't need any. It's a simply a paper gasket. Let me just show it to you here. It's a paper gasket and it'll most likely come off connected. It'll stay connected here. So we have our pump off. That was simple enough. Now the new pump, this happens to be an extreme capacity pump. As I mentioned, a little bit deeper. It's going to go on the same way. We'll put a coupler on. Now, when we get this on here, I'm going to have, I'm going to recommend that you put it on to the feed tube here. And then when you get here, you may have to do a little bit of this. Now, if you do a little bit of this and you can't get it to stab into the coupler, you pull this off, get your pliers that you already had, adjust them down and move it literally just a fraction of a turn, just a few degrees, uh, and try it again. A little bit of trial and error. Uh, I've done this a number of times, so I've gotten pretty good at it. So put this onto your tube. You, you know, we've got it bent in. Try to get it to where you're on the center of that coupler, and then start working it. And ours worked on well. Now, notice I have already have this on here for you. It'll be loose. So in, in anticipation that you'll, you'll put your uh, new tube on here. So there we are, simple as that. Grab your two bolts that were supplied in the kit that are longer. They go on the top. Oops. a bit. Two existing bolts go on the bottom. Now the other thing you can do, and I'm not doing here, uh, is put some Loctite on these bolts. Um, I have pumps on once, twice, three times a day in some cases, so that's actually going to be a problem for me to put Loctite on them. But if something you want to do, now these do also have washers on them, uh, lock washers, so they should hold, but diesel, small diesel tractors, diesel anything, the vibration, uh, it's always good insurance. All right, pumps on. Now, this is where you could potentially put your worm gear pump on. You can kind of see that it, it is just a little bit short, I'd say, but nothing that's going to affect the performance. So choose if you want to put that one on. And get your There you have it. Pump is secured. It's clamped on. Now, one thing you might do this, 
is a 13 millimeter. We did it in less than seven minutes. But let me pause this. Call it, call it seven, call it 10, whatever you want to do. Um, you might take this loose if you want some additional freedom. All this is, is a bolt that's helping secure this metal piece of this pipe. Just, it's, it's really, I would argue it's not necessary, but it's just a nice to have. By loosening this bolt or taking this bolt out, you'll get a little bit of flexibility here. But for, honestly, you don't have very much flexibility because of the ROPS here anyway. So that's up to you. If you feel like you're struggling with it and can't quite get it in there, go ahead and do that. So that's it. Stock pump to an extreme capacity pump. Um, you know, pump only in less than seven minutes. So hope that's helpful. Certainly, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment below.